Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Aries, um, someone here, and it could be you, could be them, um, but somebody here, uh, their belief system is what is affecting the relationship and what is causing uh, this chaos that seems to be going on here. Uh, it causes a lot of trouble in the relationship. You see, look how this relationship on either side is surrounded here by the Hierophant. And the Hierophant is saying, well, look to the past. Okay, so he's holding up the book at what's already been written. So the way out of this energy is through the past, all right, for this person, uh, whoever carries this energy, okay. Um, we see the tree, it, it fell in reverse, so the roots are exposed, you know. And then we have this uh, seven of coins, we have this cloud, this lightning strike. So I feel like the whatever was at or is at the root seems to be exposed and open for uh, evaluation. And if not, it certainly needs to be, okay? Uh, this needs to be looked at, the root issue. It's caused a lot of confusion in this relationship, and it has caused some lightning strikes too. We see a lightning strike here coming out of this, uh, coming out of this cloud. There's the belief system again, right at the heart of the reading. This person here that you're dealing with could be uh, oftentimes very cold, and they may seem unfeeling even, okay? They can carry a grudge even. Um, I feel like you may be dealing with this person uh, if it's happening to you, Um Again, you might feel like, like you're trying to bring this back to life. Uh, you may feel sometimes like you're getting nowhere. But I think that you are. I think that there is a light. I think that there's little movements, little progress, little at a time. But you are going to see the light. It is at the end of the tunnel. You just can't see it yet. Okay, there is a light here. And so this is having to do with the magician, which is uh, bringing this relationship back to life. Here's the official person. Um, and so this is your person you're dealing with. This is um, somebody who likes to be in control of things. Um, this could indicate that it's a situation where you may not feel in control this person can be difficult. They can be very difficult to deal with. So there, whatever's at the root here, and it, it is behind this person, it needs to be looked at. There's a deeper emotional issue uh, behind the, the, the actions that this person has been taking up to this moment, okay? And so... Um, look, there's a path, there's the light again. We have it here and we have it here. So that is very interesting. Anyway, there's a lot of emotion here, okay? Um, uh, temperance has both her feet in the water. Emotions could be running the show. You may not be uh, very happy with the options currently that you're looking at. Again, there is a deeper emotional issue behind the choices that somebody is making, okay? And the Ten of Cups right now may be uh, in a reverse and feeling very uh, emotional, emotionally draining, uh, out of your control, but I feel that things are going to uh, put themselves back into place. It's like it's it's like a temporary out of order, and then it kind of will fix itself, you know. Um, because uh, this card is here, and this card indicates um, 
it can indicate that there's movement, there's advancement with to with regards to something that kind of flipped, you know. Somebody, I feel like this person feels like they're always left out of things or that that you just don't care about them. They feel, it feels to me like they feel uh, like they're on the outside, you know? And they really need to be, this person really needs to be the center of attention. And for that, there's a deeper issue that this person needs to, to look at and, and to look at why, okay? I feel that this goes back to perhaps childhood for this person. That's what I'm picking up for them, all right? And so... Um, I feel like you're going to learn uh, about uh, a new opportunity for a new beginning. I, I feel like you don't, th it is what you wanted. And um, I feel like uh, you cannot see it right now. But I feel like this is something that's coming in. Okay, somebody has some really bad feelings, like they carry things, you know, they carry grudges, uh, they hold on to pain. Um, uh, there may be a lot of things they don't remember, but they'll remember that time you hurt them. <laughs> okay, so that's the kind of person I'm talking about here. So, <clears throat> um Again, we have this uh, sense of setting aside, but this could also be setting uh, one needing to set their feelings aside in order to harvest something. And what you want to harvest is the sun. You want to have that solution. You want to bring back the peace and the harmony to this relationship. And to do that, somebody's going to have to set those feelings aside, but not just set them aside and don't look at them. They're going to have to look at them as to why they were carrying those feelings for so long. They need to go find the deeper issue behind all behind all of these feelings they're having and thoughts they're thinking. They need to trace them back, you know, because that's what he's telling you, the preacher. Retrace your steps. The answer, the solution uh, that, that this person needs or seeks can only be found in the past, but they must be a willing participant to look at it. That whatever happened in their past set them up to think and feel a, a certain way, you know, and react a certain way when something very similar uh, would reappear on their path, you know. So water is in the reverse and emotions are running the show uh, for this person currently. Uh, somebody, you could even feel like you're, uh, frustrated, like there's just no way out of this. That, yeah, I mean, you keep trying and it may feel like you keep hitting a brick wall with this person, but I say don't give up. I say don't give up. I, I feel like there's a light. There's a light here and there's a light here. Okay? So, yes, right now you're heavily burdened, but I feel that they are also... So I feel like they they were burned in the past, and so uh, this creates a lot of confusion about the choices for the future. Again, uh, there is a deeper emotional issue. It keeps reappearing in this reading. Um, that is causing all of, that's it, see, five of shields, that's, that's causing all of these struggles uh, that, that between you two. This is a card of a struggling relationship and can also be jealousy here going on. It's breakdowns in communication. And so, 
I personally feel like uh, you're going to receive a message of hope and right when you need it to, right when you need it. You're going to receive a message of hope from that person having to do with seeing new growth with a new beginning having to do with this empress card here see a new start this cloth over his shoulder here the green is the hope so i i truly believe you're going to receive this message and um so you don't have it now. It is something that is incoming in the future. Right now, um, I want to give you some hope, you know. I want you to, to remain hopeful and to remain positive. You got the sun in your corner here, okay. So remain positive. Uh, and even, even with all the chaos that's going around you, try to stay positive, okay. Um, things are going to work themselves out. You have a message of hope coming here, Aries. That is what I have for you. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.